Yuri Koshiyama was a Japanese-American human rights activist. Early life, Mary Yuriko Nakahara was born on May 19, 1921 in San Pedro, California to Japanese immigrant Siichi Nakahara, a fish merchant entrepreneur, and Tsuyako Nakahara, a college-educated homemaker and piano teacher. She had a twin brother, Peter, and an older brother, Art. Her family was relatively affluent and she grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood. In her youth she attended church and taught Sunday school. Koshiyama attended San Pedro High School, where she served as the first female student body officer, wrote for the school newspaper, and played on the tennis team. She graduated from high school in 1939. She attended Compton Junior College, where she studied English, journalism, and art. Koshiyama graduated from Compton in 1941. Yuri Koshiyama was a schoolteacher at the Presbyterian Church close to where she resided. Her life changed on December 7, 1941, when the Japanese Empire bombed Pearl Harbor. She was unaware of this event while she was teaching at church. Soon after the bombings, the Federal Bureau of Investigation barged through looking for her father. Within a matter of minutes, the three men took her father away as he was considered a suspect who could threaten national security. The event happened so quickly she was unable to question their actions. Her father was sick to begin with and he was just released from the hospital when the FBI arrested him. While her father was in federal prison he was denied medical care, and by the time he was released on January 20, 1942, he had become too sick to speak. Her father died the day after his release. Soon after the death of her father, the United States government ordered Yuri, her mother and brother to leave their home in San Pedro. They were evacuated to a converted horse stable at the Santa Anita Assembly Center for several months and then moved again to the War Relocation Authority internment camp at Jerome, Arkansas, where they lived for the next three years. While interned, she met her future husband, Bill Koshiyama, an essay soldier fighting for the United States. The couple was married in 1946. They then moved to New York in 1948 and lived in public housing for the next 12 years. Most of their neighbors were African American. Activist work, in 1960, Koshiyama and her husband Bill moved to Harlem in New York City and joined the Harlem Parents Committee. She became acquainted with Malcolm X and was a member of his organization of Afro-American Unity, following his departure from the Nation of Islam. She was present at his assassination on February 21, 1965, at the Audubon Ballroom in Harlem, and held him in her arms as he lay dying. She was able to form a bond with Malcolm X because she saw that African Americans were being oppressed as well. In 1977, Koshiyama joined the group of Puerto Ricans that took over the Statue of Liberty to draw attention to the struggle for Puerto Rican independence. Koshiyama and other activists demanded the release of five Puerto Rican nationalists who were jailed in the United States for more than 20 years. According to Koshiyama, despite a strong movement enabling them to occupy the statue for nine hours, they intended to give up peacefully when the police came. The five Puerto Ricans were eventually released. Koshiyama also became a mentor during the Asian American movement that grew during and after the Vietnam War protests. Many young activists came to her for help for several of the Asian American protests. Due to her experience and her ability to interrelate African American and Asian American activist issues, Yuri and her husband could secure reparations and government apologies for injustices toward Asian Americans such as the Japanese American internment. President Ronald Reagan signed the Civil Liberties Act in 1988 which, among other things, awarded $20,000 to each Japanese-American internment survivor. The process of issuing reparation checks is ongoing. Over the years, Koshiyama had dedicated herself to various causes, such as the rights of political prisoners, working on behalf of Mamiya Abu Jamal, nuclear disarmament, and reparations for the internment of Japanese-Americans. In 2005, Koshiyama was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize through the A Euro A 1000 Women for the Nobel Peace Prize 2005 A Euro Project. Media, 
Koshiyama appeared as herself in the TV movie Death of a Prophet a Euro The Last Days of Malcolm X in 1981. Koshiyama appeared in the 12 award-winning documentary, All Power to the People. By Chinese-Jamaican-American filmmaker Li Lu Li for ZDF Art, broadcast in 21 nations in the U.S. between 1996 to 2001, Koshiyama was the subject of the documentary film, Yuri Koshiyama, Passion for Justice, from Japanese-American filmmaker Rita Dure and African-American filmmaker Pat Saunders. Koshiyama and her husband, Bill Koshiyama, were featured in the documentary, My America. Or Hong If You Love Buddha by the Academy Award-nominated filmmaker Renee Tajima P plus or minus A. Koshiyama is the subject of a documentary film with Angela Davis called Mountains That Take Wing by C.A. Griffith and L.T. Kwan. Koshiyama's speeches were published in Discover Your Mission, Selected Speeches and Writings of Yuri Koshiyama, by Russell Murray Naka. Koshiyama is the subject of a play, Yuri and Malcolm X, by Japanese-American playwright, Tim Toyama. Koshiyama is the subject of a play Bits of Paradise by Marlon Warren, as well as a documentary currently in production, Bits of Paradise, Missives of Hope which focuses on the letter-writing campaign led by Koshiyama during her internment. Koshiyama is mentioned in the Blue Scholars album by Yani on the title track and has a track titled in her honor in their 2011 album Sinemetropolis. References Schartz, Kate. Kleinstahl, Miriam. Rad American Women AZ. San Francisco, California, City Light Sister Spit. ISBN 978-0-87286-683-6. External links, National Women's History Project about Koshiyama, The Last Revolutionary, by Melissa Hung from the East Bay Express. Civil rights activist Yuri Koshiyama remembers her life, the day of Malcolm Zhao Euro unregistered trademark S assassination to her internment in a WWII Japanese American detention camp from Democracy Now! Yuri Koshiyama in the Freedom Fighters trailer on YouTube, Bits of Paradise play about Yuri Koshiyama on YouTube, documentary and production about Yuri Koshiyama's Crusaders. Yuri Koshiyama by Diane C. Fagino from Dentsho Encyclopedia, Mountains That Take Wing on YouTube, Selby, Jean, Yuri Koshiyama Dead, Japanese American human rights activist and close Malcolm X ally dies aged 93, The Independent, Remembering Yuri Koshiyama. KPFA. June 5, 2014.